Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating sensitivity, specificity, the false positive rate and the false negative rate using SPSS. Oftentimes in counseling research, when we think of terms like sensitivity and specificity, we think of evaluating diagnostic tests and comparing the predictions that these tests make to a reality that we're able to discover at some point in the future. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view in SPSS, you can see I have a dichotomous variable named diagnostic test. It has two possible outcomes, positive and negative. And then I have reality, and that is a dichotomous variable as well. And again, two possibilities, positive and negative. So let's assume in this case that these positives and negatives refer to the presence, that would be a positive, or the absence, that would be a negative, of panic disorder. And when we start to treat uh, participants in this research study, we use this diagnostic test to predict uh, membership in two groups, a group that is positive for panic disorder and a group that is negative for panic disorder. As treatment progresses, we're able to assess the participants with a number of instruments designed to detect panic disorder. We also would have the results from at least one clinical interview. And we can feel confident at this point that we know the reality. If it's a positive result, we know they have panic disorder. As a negative result, we know they do not. Now there is still room for error, even in this variable reality, because there's no way to be 100% sure that somebody has a disorder or 100% sure that they do not. But we're gonna assume that the reality variable is highly accurate. So we can see by looking at these two variables that in some cases, we have a positive prediction and a positive reality. That's referred to as a true positive. When we have a negative prediction on the diagnostic test, and in reality, uh, there is no disorder, the negative result, that's called a true negative. If we have a positive prediction, but in reality, there was no disorder, that's a false positive. And if the diagnostic test indicates uh, the absence of the disorder, but in reality the disorder was present, that's a false negative. The way to quantify this is to calculate the sensitivity and specificity. And we do that by going to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Cross Tabs. And this is what the Cross Tabs dialog looks like by default. The diagnostic test we're gonna put that in the row list box. And the reality will go in the column list box. The only change on the buttons to the right here is gonna be under cells. And you can see by default, the observed count is displayed. We're gonna leave unaffected unchecked. And in percentages, similarly, we're not gonna check off row. We're just gonna check off column. The expected counts and the row percentages can be useful, but for specifically looking at sensitivity and specificity, we get a clear table in the output, whereas when we have expected and the row percentages checked off, it becomes a little more difficult to interpret. So I'm gonna click Continue here on the crosstab cell display, and then OK under crosstabs. And here are the results. So we can see from the case processing summary that we have no missing cases. So all the cases are valid. And then under the test result times reality cross tabulation, we can see that when the test result was positive, that there were 26 occasions where the reality was also positive. And we can see this percent within reality below the count, it's 76.5%. It 
this is the sensitivity. A sensitivity is also known as the true positive rate. So the true positive rate for the diagnostic test was 76.5 percent. If we move down one row, we can see the test result here is negative. There were eight occasions where it was negative, but in reality, the result was positive. And you can see again, percent within reality, 23.5%. That percent is the false negative rate. A false negative is also known as type 2 error. So we had a negative prediction, but in reality, a positive result. So false negative. Moving back to the top row, we can see that we have a test result of positive when in reality negative. There's a negative result. That happened three times or 11.5 percent of the time. This is the false positive rate, also known as type 1 error. And then moving down to the next row, we can see a test result of negative and a reality of negative. That occurred 23 times or 88.5 percent. This 88.5 percent value, this is the specificity, also known as the true negative rate. So just to review quickly, in the top left here we have the 76.5 percent, that is the sensitivity. In the bottom left we have the 23.5 percent, that is the false negative rate. In the top right where we have the 11.5 percent, that's the false positive rate. And the bottom right, where we have the 88.5%, that is the specificity or true negative rate. I hope you found this video on sensitivity, specificity, false positives, and false negatives in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.